Hi, I'm Dave from High Performance Diesel in Adelaide, and today I'd like to talk about intercoolers. We just removed the intercooler from Simon's vehicle, which is a standard fitment front mount intercooler here, which is a factory tube and fin style intercooler with an internal fin in it. It's a laser welded tube, which is really lightweight. The nature of this core, because it's so thin in construction, it's damaged really easily by stones or any debris hitting the front of the vehicle in an off-road situation. You can see clearly here the dents in the tubes and really they're caused by a very minor hit. It's quite efficient, but it's really fragile and prone to damage. That's why we recommend going with a bar and plate style core. The intercooler construction is a tube and fin core with a plastic tank, which is actually crimped on a header plate here. It has rubber o-ring in there, but after long periods of vibration and off-road use, that seal will actually fail. You'll see evidence of oil leaking out of the corners in along the tube to header joint and that's why these things aren't you know, good in an off-road situation or for reliability or for strength. Also with the pipe work, you can see here it's all rubber hoses and some of the issues we found with them don't even have a normal style hose clamp on them so you can't even remove or repair it. You have to actually cut it off or buy a whole new unit to repair a hose if it blows off or anything like that. Automatically the evidence now of the intercooler pipes leaking only after a few thousand kilometres you can see all residue coming out of the intercooler pipe from this crimp style clamp. You can see here and running down the pipes, which means that's actually leaking and no way of retensioning this pipe. So the only way to do it would be cut that clamp off and start again or repair it with a new piece direct from Holden. An intercooler is actually a heat exchanger which exchanges air from the turbocharger, which comes out of the turbo at approximately 150 degrees, passes through the intercooler and air passing through the intercooler transmits the heat from the inside of the intercooler to the outside and then the air flowing over the outside then obviously transmits it through into the air. So you're cooling the charge by hot air entering here, air flowing over it and then the cool air exiting out the other side of the intercooler. Now the whole idea of an intercooler is to cool the charge down and by cooling the charge down you're actually creating more air, more denser air. So when you talk about your air fuel ratios on a vehicle is how many parts of air to parts of fuel. So if you have an air fuel ratio of 19 to one, which is about optimum range with for efficiency, power and torque, and then you fit a larger intercooler, which then cools the charge down even further, then what you'll get coming out the other end, it'll be a cooler, denser air, and you'll actually have an air fuel ratio of 25 to one or 26 to one, which is a lot leaner mixture. When we talk about adding more fuel, we're only adding more fuel to bring the air fuel ratio back to the correct mixture. Once a correct mixture is achieved, that's where you want to stay around about 19 or 20 to one. By doing that, you're creating more power and more torque, which then you can use a less throttle position to maintain road speed, which gives you a lot better economy. In order to make an intercooler more efficient and more reliable, what you actually do, you increase the size of the intercooler, then you change the construction to a fully welded construction with a lot larger core, which gives you a lot larger surface area, which then gives you better performance. So by making a larger intercooler, obviously you can only make it fit in the vehicle that you have. So each individual kit from HPD is actually made vehicle specific. It's actually not an off the shelf unit that just you can make together. It's actually built for that vehicle. And the outlets and the tanks and the mounting brackets are all designed for direct fitment into that vehicle. HPD uses a bar and plate type core, which is really efficient core. It gives you a really good cooling efficiency. And with each individual kit, is designed to fit the biggest intercooler you can physically fit in there so you still get so you get the maximum amount of benefits out of installing a new intercooler in your vehicle it's designed with a fully welded tank construction like it's fully welded pressure tested and all the mounting brackets are all designed to be a direct bolt into your vehicle it also has you know high quality silicon hoses not rubber hoses like it does on the factory style unit right we use a liner style hose clamp which has a full liner inside of it, which protects the silicon hoses from being cut. And we also use aluminium mandrel bends, which are free flowing and with a nice roll bead on the end to stop the hoses from blowing off. A normal fitment would probably take between four and six hours, depending on the vehicle and accessories that you have fitted to the vehicle. Now some of Simon's vehicles have a winch and bull bars fitted, which make it a little bit longer to fit the intercooler, but generally four to six hours is about normal time to take. Power gains with an intercooler alone are generally five to 10% initially, but when combined with an exhaust or a chip or any sort of engine management, this enables you to correct the air fuel ratio and give you more bang for your buck. You can actually get up to 20 to 30% more power by fitting the intercooler itself, simply because the intercooler basically will lean out the mixture of the vehicle and in order to bring the power back up or get the mixtures back to where they should be, you need to add some more fuel 
and that's where you get your biggest gains when fitting an intercooler. When you're looking for an intercooler upgrade for your 4x4, make sure you get a good quality unit that's backed by an Australian company that's the manufacturers here in Australia, and make sure you're getting good quality and backup service from these guys as well. And they actually full drive and they use intercoolers in their full driving and their performance gains. A good quality intercooler, when you're looking for one, will have high quality cast end tanks. All the mounting brackets will all be welded. The whole construction will be all fully TIG welded and not a plastic crimped header plate like you see in OEM units. It will have mandrel bent aluminium pipes, it'll have silicon hoses and good quality clamps and all the fasteners and all the fixes, fixings will all be in the kit. It comes with full instructions of how to install the kit and everything you need to make the intercooler fit. So when you fit the intercooler, it makes the engine run far more efficiently and run cooler with cooler engine temperatures. I hope that's helped you to understand intercoolers and I'm Dave from High Performance Diesel and I hope your diesel breathes easy.